All right, today is a day that no one ever expected. Before, before we get to that, like, comment, subscribe. I don't make any money from this, so give me some fucking subs, bro. Don't be, don't be selfish. But we're gonna go to Tactical Fleet today. I'm pretty sure Noel's going and a few other random amigos. But we're gonna do car reviews today. Pretty much like every car that I've ever owned or driven. I've driven pretty much everything now. And we're gonna talk shit on them. Or we're gonna talk nice things. Mostly shit though. So we'll see how that goes. How do we feel about the Aventador S? This is what Chad wants to get, aka Circle K. We found him, it's that guy over there in the blue. Get a video of him. He's in the blue. We picked him up. We picked him up at Circle K like a year ago, and then now he just follows us around. But it's Rosso Bia. Seems like a. Is this like a pearl color? or Is it just normal? I just feel like whenever I drove this, it's like not as like refined as the SVJ. Not this exact one, but I have driven the S. I've driven the S, the SV, and then the regular Aventador. It's pretty close. Once you slouch, it's not as bad. Ten thousand miles. This is pretty much the same. Doors are the same. The uh, biggest thing is there's no like carbon, like the SVJ has the full carbon doors. Well, it's crazy though. So my steering wheel is the stock one, but they paid $1,500 for like the upgraded steering wheel and they just put Alcantara right here, that's it. Not even the full wheel? No. Huh. I don't really like Alcantara, it just no. disintegrates. Yeah. I feel like Chad should get one of these though. Hi, Daddy Noel. Uh, delivery from Mr. Kevin. <laughs> this, is my Uber, this is my Uber Eats. <laughs> All right, so we bought two 765s here, same day. Thank you. You remember when we bought two 765 same day? Correct. Yeah. So I was here test driving the 765 and I was like, all right, I'm going to buy it. But I was in the middle of escrow on my house, so they wouldn't let me buy it. So Mr. Barda held it for me for like 20 days until I closed. But I called Pack while I was driving home and I was like, hey, bro, don't get a 720, get the 765. And he's like, all right, well, they had another one. So we literally just bought both right there. <laughs> Top G. So, 600 LT, I think it's probably like one of the best cars you can get for the money. What are they, like 190? It says 230, but it's probably 190. That's a lie. But these cars, tons of carbon, literally like the full back end is carbon. They actually sound pretty sick too. The biggest thing that annoys me about McLaren is you gotta charge it from the front. I fucking hate that. But this is like, this is like one of the best cars that you can get for the money, dude. I heard these are really good to jump too. They have like good like jumping capabilities. I've never tried it, but I do, I do know some people who have. When I had the DBS, that's twin turbo V12. Those things fucking pull, dude. Yeah. This paint looks sick as shit. I don't know if it'll pick it up in the video, but this looks sick. Like that pearlescent, like light green, dark green. But I remember when I lived in Newport Beach, California, I went into Aston Martin. I was 21, 22, and they, uh, they were offering lease deals on these. You could lease it $0 down, $1,100 a month, and you could use a credit card. No. For for 15,000 miles a year. All right. This is sick. If I wasn't poor, I would get one of these. No. You're rich. Buy one of these. What is it? It's an A12 comp. They're like 1.6 million. MSRP is 600,000. And they go for a fucking million over. I can get you an order, though, for 300 over. So it's the same thing as A12. They're just slightly tuned up. So not really much performance or power difference. It's mainly just rare. I guess this guy, I think his name's like Brian something, but he's got like a fuckload of like super rare cars. First supercar I ever bought was the R8. Second supercar I ever bought was the 488. And the reason that I bought it was because I was parked next to one at a car meet. And as I was driving home, I found one online, called them and wired the money before I got home. I don't think I had the driving ability at the time to drive one of these. Cause I, to me, it just like, handled like shit and I don't know if the F8 is just like a massive difference but the F8 compared to the 48 is like a different world even though these are like a quarter million to 300,000 and you can get an F8 now for like 330. Handling on this didn't feel very good. Power output was actually surprisingly good especially if you went traction off. I mean you could spin through third or fourth gear and I think they just look classic like I feel like this isn't yeah, I feel like it's just not ever going to go out of style. Pretty much like everything on this car is designed around aero, including the door handles. It's literally designed to funnel air into the intakes. Is that an intake? Yeah, that's an intake. So it's literally designed to funnel air directly into there, which is kind of cool. They do not have keyless entry though. Pisses me off. The SF90 does though, but every other Ferrari does not. Is this a Roma? 
Roma. They rented a Roma for the weekend. Weekend here in Dallas. Yeah, perfect. It's raining the whole time. Yeah. How do you How do you like it? This car is dog water. <laughs> is like, it a twin turbo V8? Twin turbo V8. Yeah. This is like the guy that wants to buy a Ferrari, but doesn't actually want anything that comes with a Ferrari. Yeah. Like. It can't decide if it wants to be comfortable, can't decide if it wants to be a, a performance car. It doesn't really do either of them well. It just does both of them average. <laughs> That's my review. Well, I think they're made as like dailies. That's why I like the interiors like so... But it's not that comfortable. And really? like the seats were really stiff. Do they have carbon buckets? No. No, it just has comfort seats? Just, yeah. Damn. That's how I like felt. Really, they're really hard seats. When I had the 812, like it was just, the seats were literally just flat. So when you turn really hard, you just slid off. <laughs> yeah. That's like it seems. Oh, I don't even. I don't know how hard you could turn in this car. Cause it's like pretty floaty. But have you driven the A12? No. Okay, the A12 I felt like handled like shit. Really? Yeah. Well, it is kind of a boat. It did. It was super heavy. Yeah. But I feel like in a straight line, like when you were going like 160, as long as you didn't have to turn, you were chilling. Yeah. It because they're so wide. Yeah. So it felt pretty planted. But I could. I mean, you could floor it in like fifth gear and you would spin through. Yeah. Like it had so much torque. So I think they have like six something torque. That's like the, know. like the C7 Z06. Yeah. If all you care about is going fast. McLaren's open. More content. One of the biggest red flags in women is if they know how to open the McLaren doors. Brittany, walking red flag. She knows how to open all of them. I fucking love these, dude. I don't know why. Oh shit, shit, damn it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh. But it's not, once you're in, it's not that bad. So I take my right shoe off whenever I drive, cause like, especially in the SVJ, this sticks out to like here. So your knee and everything yeah. in between. So I'll just be like tapping it and I'll be turning on the windshield wipers as I drive. Every single time. Yeah, so I have to take my right shoe off. This one sounds good. So this one's 